Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. We're back with number 46 in our top 50 goalies of the 2000s, 2000 to 2020. Looking at the stats, evaluating it accordingly. Who do we have at 46? At uh, number 46, um, we have Steve Mason. Yeah, Steve Mason is a guy who, if he played longer, he did retire young. He probably would have been even higher on this list because he had a great rookie season with the Columbus Blue Jackets, gets nominated for Vesna as a rookie, if I'm not mistaken. And then he had a few rough years with Columbus, goes to Philly, looking like a pretty stud goalie again, has multiple years of 920 save percentage, or I believe one just under. And if that Philly team had a bit better defense up front, he would have, people would have remembered those years a bit more because I think they considered him a, average goalie at best and honestly in those fill years he was actually a pretty good goalie and that's the thing right a lot of people have a bit of recency bias um after he left philly he had a pretty let's just, let's just call it a forgetful campaign in winnipeg mm -hmm. that's something you're, you're going to see as a common trend if you guys keep watching our, our breakdown our ranking video even then if you look at that winnipeg year i think his goals against was over three but his save percentage was still, over, still 900, over 900 yeah, which is rare 900. yeah yeah yeah, and it's very rare for a losing team that that was not a winning team overall. That that Jets team was just not, not where they are today. Let's just, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely a common trend that numbers go down in the last year. But Steve Mason was a, someone who entered the league as a young player, didn't enter as a backup. He entered, got starting minutes right away, became a starter right away, was a starter for his whole career, um, and. That's not something that most or really any goalies can say. Even Patrick Waugh was a backup when he came in the league. Uh, Steve Mason was not because he was well deserved of it. Hell, his first year, he had that 2.2 goals against average. And you're talking about a Vezina nomination. It, was, it wasn't a surprise. Um, and the fact that he was able to keep that going, that Blue Jackets team back in the day was very, very reliant on him. That, and that was, he really showed up. So. Yeah, and we did try to consider all professional hockey. So even going to his younger days as well, the yep. U20 tournament, this guy was 5-0, and a 1.19 goals against, 951 save percentage in the U20 tournament for Canada. And, and again, that's why he ended up in the NHL the next year. As a starter. So as I mean, a Vezina potential. Exactly. So, I mean, I, like no other goalie off the top of my head had a 950 save percentage in a major tournament like that. May, maybe one or two other guys, but Steve Mason, talent wise, definitely one of the best. I would have loved to see him play a lot longer because he really only did have, I want to say, five quality seasons as a starter. Most guys on this list had six or seven who are above him. And I know if he would have kept going, he probably would have had one more. And he, he easily could have. Hell, he could be playing right now. Um, but let, let us know what you guys all think, guys, because we're definitely both very high on Steve Mason, even though he had a pretty short career. Um, let us know if you guys think he should be making a comeback um, or if he just deserves to be higher on this list. Definitely. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon with the rest of the list.